What's fascinating in, in our learning and development space is uh, not only just the incredible things that we can do with it now, uh, with, with creating training like video and, and the graphics and accessibility and mobility and, mm -hmm. and all of those, but understanding how the learner uh, and the learning experience happens and the results of that. Um, and I think, what's, I think what's interesting today is we're able to start to understand the behavior of a learner during a course and their actions, if they move from one section to another section or one concept and, uh, uh, to another faster, slower, if they, if they get it or like it or uh, want to do something, you know, want more information around it, we can create courses to help the learner with that, with that learning experience um, not only capture the information, understand it better, but we understand more about the performance of that course and the performance of the learner. The information we can get from the learning experience helps us then um, do a better job for the next course. Mm -hmm. Or um, it, does it, you know, it helps an organization to go back and say, well, that course didn't match up with our performance or our business objectives. We want to be able to change it a little bit. So with, with, with data, it, with that much data, with more information around the whole learning experience, mm -hmm. we're able to make better decisions around courses, course development, um, make it more targeted to specific job roles, and that's incredibly powerful. I mean, especially from, a, from corporate education where they have to, where they're striving to um, uh, determine a return on investment. Mm -hmm. um, then the information, and not just any information, but very specific information about the learner, and it's tied to their specific job and that performance, gathering that information, and you can imagine if, if you get information about one learner in one course, then take 10,000 learners in that same course, then take 10,000 learners in 50 courses, and the amount of information that you can collect, the right information, um, is, is incredible. It's, it's something we've never had before. And then looking at that from an, to analyze that information to determine the next course or determine maybe we need to change completely in a different direction. That kind of intelligence around learning is, it, I think, is going to be the most powerful aspect of what happens now and going into the future. Because it's great to be able to create engaging, interesting, and, and performance-specific courses, but then to be able to track the, the information and then prove it, mm -hmm. and then come back and say, wow, we noticed you struggled in this area, or you did great in this area. Or you look at those programs that were put together and say, you know, we kind of missed the mark because we're not seeing the results in our, in our, our organizational goals, to be able to then make that decision with real information and go, if we tweaked it a little bit, mm -hmm. then we could take the notch a little further. I think that's what's really going to be a game changer for corporate learning. It sounds like a very powerful um, new piece of information that we just didn't have access to prior to now. We, we didn't. I mean, if you, and it's because of technology mm -hmm. and, and where, you know, um, where it's been able to take us. Um, you're searching on a Google website or you're searching a website and it's capturing information mm -hmm. and that data is being collected somewhere and people can analyze that information and now people are becoming you know, more informed about the behaviors of people. And, and what we're trying to do in the learning community is, is understand how we can um, put that in place as well. And there's some incredible tools to be able to start tracking that. It does come back to from when you're analyzing the, the information when you're creating the course, that's the most important time to be able to identify the things that you want to track. Um, it's not after the fact or just getting just a mind-blowing amount of information. It's being very specific around what information you need to know up front. And I think that's where we also bring an advantage with PT, is helping our customers understand what is it that they need to measure? What are, the, what are the objectives, the learning objectives, the organizational and business objectives that we need to understand before we build a course? Mm -hmm. So that as that's completed and it goes out you know, to the learners, then they can really track that information.